So today's project is going to be to uh, move these Holtzmites. I'll move all this wood downstairs into the basement. So I'm going to share a little bit of what it looks like as I tear these apart. These are the same ones I did the video of in the spring. And it's had time to season, get some good air flow around it. And uh, it's time to put it in the basement. As you can see, falls upon us. So time to get it in before the snow falls. We'll be using the tractor and bring it into the garage up here. And this is the little trap door that I made for firing wood down into the basement. And we'll go downstairs, make sure everything's set down there before we start. This is what it looks like down in the basement here. That's where I showed you the trap door. It'll come down. Got this built up with just old lumber. You can see it takes a beating. Put a piece of aluminum plate here and that saves me having to replace this wood all the time. First I had this layer. It got beat up pretty good. Screwed another layer over the top for strength and stability. That got beat up pretty good right in this area. So I put this aluminum on here. Strengthened it up pretty good and that works out pretty well. I've got some little pieces of old sheetrock that I put down against this wall and you can see this stuff here in the back to protect it. When I'm working alone, I will flop some wood down, lay it out here because believe it or not, the wood does bang up the concrete pretty good coming down. It catches quite a bit of speed coming down the chute. It'll come down, hit here, hit this plate. Most of them get guided right into this, this area right here. This year, trying something new. I got a old shipping crate and we tried it last night. As long as you have it in the right place, it catches most of it. Three pieces missed, but it catches most of it. This is on wheels, so we can wheel it all the way down here where we stack. When I get done, I'll have three rows just like this going this direction. That's what we have left over from last year, so that's what we'll start on this year. I'll also put some more out here in this area. Got a bunch of kindling wood and pine from jobs over there for starting fires. But this is the main objective to fill this area with wood and get that stuff inside. So, best thing I've found to do all this, I can take a wheelbarrow, load it up, and go back and forth a million times. But I made this uh, quite a while ago for moving wood. And actually, I'm going to tighten these up down here so it's not swinging so much before I start. But uh, I've used it to carry rocks, everything basically. Just an old three point hitch uh, deal. You can buy these things already made. This was a, a hitch off from a truck. They got in a wreck and um, just cut it down to size, capped the ends, put these pins in it for the three-point hitch. I planned on doing this a different way, but that's what I had and was handy at the time and I needed to get moving something. I think it was probably wood. So I just put those in there real quick and uh, it works. It's just kind of a pain in the neck to hook up. You're trying to get this rod right here in between here line these holes up with this and there's an easier way to do it so that was quickest as I was going setting it up um, this thing's pretty sturdy it's carried lots of rocks and you'll see it loaded up with wood but basically we'll load that up back up to that trap door and start firing it down in there
seen the first uh, first load come down, you probably got the gist of that. So I'm going to get those couple piles that we've got up top uh, moved down here and stacked. And then when I start tearing apart that holds me, Dave, I'll uh, do a little video of the inside of it so you can see what it looks like as we pull it you apart. You can see with the shingles removed, you can see this board here, this one here, this one here. A good example of how they overlap and come down. You can see out here, these ones are stacked going in and how this piece here helps it tilt inward. And then in here, you can see right now pretty good. It's all dry underneath here. We just had rain a couple days ago. And uh, it just stacks in here like this so that we can get this, the shape of the roof with these top pieces that act as shingles. So I'll take this load in and then continue a little time lapse for you. And you can uh, see it all come apart again. Okay, this is a perfect uh, little view. You can see how the center layer right here is all stacked vertically on end. You can see the pallet is right there. And then after you stack those all around, standing just straight up. And some of them are going to get knocked over and stuff, but then it's just fill that middle up. <coughs> That's it. Now you can see how it's all dismantled, how dry it is inside. I mean, it's perfectly dry wood inside there. Works out pretty well. Sometimes you'll find a squirrel nest or a mouse that's nested up in there. Sometimes some bees. So you got to be careful, but try and do it on a cool day where if there is some bees, they're a little slow. So, all right, well, I'll we'll show you it all tore down and stacked. That'll be the last thing. She did a good job stacking down here. I helped her out, but well, she did most of the stacking today. My daughter did. So we're looking at uh, one, two, three, four. I would say about five, four to five, four and a half, five face cord out of one of those Holtzmiddays of uh, 20 to 22 inch wood ballpark. So I'm calling that um, eight foot long goes three times three. That's three uh, three good face cord. A four foot comes up to here, so they're really heavy face cords. All right. Well, the next one I think is going to finish off this pile and bring us up to here. Last year, that's what we burned was about nine face cord of this wood. Um, we did have some more stacked over here where this lumber is. That's all dried up pine these bigger pieces I might use for something but uh, I gather up scrap from jobs and things I'm doing around use that for kindling wood getting the fire started this time of year and stuff all right well there you have it